I I need to re meet you guys. Yes, like hello? I need to reintroduce myself. I am I'm Esther. Who are you? Are you identifying as a male or a female at this point? <laughs> what are your foot- Your outfit is just shy. I don't know. Why? Well, I know you're genderless now. You're Gen Z. She, look at, <laughs> she came in looking like I listen, oh, Wait a second. I expect it more from her shoulders. Second. From her shoulders, I expect it from Thank you. you. Wait, you're coming into femininity and New York took it away. You both are wearing the same pants. And we're all wearing New Balances. We've all become gender neutral. We're gender neutral. Because honestly, boys do wear this outfit. They really do, though. Julie is an FDA-approved morning-after pill that helps stop pregnancy before it starts. Go to juliecare.co to learn more or find Julie at your nearest CVS, Target, or Walmart today. That's juliecare.co to learn more. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Tuesday. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code Trash Tuesday at Manscaped.com. Manscaped is grooming from face to waist for men and the stuff that hangs a little lower. <laughs> um, you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code Trash Tuesday at Manscaped.com. Okay. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com and use code Trash Tuesday. Make this Father's Day one he won't forget with Manscaped. And <laughs> he won't forget when you get your dad ball trimmers. He will not <laughs> hey, Sluggies. Happy Tuesday. I am on the road. You can come see me in San Antonio on June 23rd and 24th at the LOL Comedy Club. I also will be in Philadelphia in August at the Punchline, and you can see me in Austin, Texas at the Vulcan Gas Company, October 6th through 7th. I also have dates in San Francisco, San Jose, and a lot of really cool places. So go to annieletterman.com slash shows, and you can see me every Thursday um, at 12 p.m. PST on YouTube on Annie Wood with me and Todd. Come check it out. Hi, Slugs. I am so happy and excited to be back on the road sharing my crazy stand-up with all of you. Um, We are going to have so much fun at these shows. I will be in New York City, July 19th through 22nd. I will be in D.C. September 28th and Boston at the Wilbur September 30th and more. Get tickets at estronice.com. I cannot wait to have fun with you guys this summer and this fall. I want to talk about our new balances. We did not plan this. We've morphed into each other without each other. First of all, this is all of you becoming me because I've been wearing these shoes since my 18th birthday when my dad got me running shoes. It's so funny that yours are the ones with like doo-doo on the bottom. Yeah, I was about to tell you. I was like, I hate to tell you, but there's shit in the bottom of your shoes. I would be flapping these around. (laughs) Is that from when you were 18? (laughs) (laughs) You forgot to clean Wait, also, we're in a new studio. Like, we're in a new so studio. Surprise, by the way, surprise. <laughs> we, I didn't bed. know about it until yesterday. <laughs> so no, none of us knew. But <laughs> By the way, I love the decoration. <laughs> Thank you guys for the... Excuse me, where is Bobby's photo behind me? We're done. We can't. We're done. Oh, sorry. We're done. No. Save it for Tiger Belly, bitch. We're done. <laughs> oh, no. no Bobby, no Carlos. We talk about none of these people on this Wait, your, your, your necklace became an earring. <laughs> Wait, okay, since I know that you still talk to Bobby, or I'm assuming that, and he's on tour. Talk to Bobby? I mean, imagine she didn't talk to Bobby. <laughs> Please w- warn him. What are these, what's the little bralette thing happening here? They're so, very pushed up. I got back, so I was in New York for two months, and this morning I wake up, I'm like, back in LA, like, get gonna get up early, live my life. Both cars not working. So you need to tell Bobby that someone needs to, probably you. I do that. <laughs> Run his engine? Yeah. Yeah, I do that. Okay, just making. Yeah. I just want to let you know, Bobby sure. would never think of you in that situation. <laughs> I know. He would never go. But like, who else do I know that would not be home for two months. Wait, can also, I just you have tell you? To be careful about your pipes at home. You have to run your water, run your showers, or else it gets that really bad smell if you don't run your plumbing for two months. Do you not know that? That I had covered. It was okay, the car good. I didn't have covered. Esther knows her smells. <laughs> <laughs> Esther knows about house smells. Yes, I knew that one. Um, but the water was brown. But it's kind of always brown. Um, anyway. Oh. What, after your baths? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does yeah. it start brown and gets browner? The cars would not start this morning. And I was like, this is... Because, okay, I don't know if you guys... 
uh, bring everyone up to speed. I've been in New York for two months. I full blown became a New Yorker. We like, can tell by your nails. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the paparazzi I mean, pictures. What? I've seen the paparazzi pictures. Oh, yes, How those very those realistic papers? paparazzi. I've never seen someone get captured um, with duck face. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, those were quite curated by my mysterious photographer. Um, but yeah, I, I was just such a bummer this morning to like, realize again here in LA so dependent on cars right. like the cars won't start you're just screwed where I'm like if I was in New York I could just walk downstairs or crawl with your bare hands <laughs> <Yeah>. my <laughs> nail lady lives in LA so I have to but yeah no I'm back and I guess this is this is life here is it how do you guys do it <laughs> Kyla, you came to New York. Did you love it? I love New York, <gasps> but you already know I was fully fucking jet lagged. Like I had gone straight from the Philippines to New York, so I don't remember much. Yeah. Was, How like, long were you there blur. for? Um, I think five days. Which but, is like just enough to get over your jet lag. You like just start to feel good. Yeah, I like, would fall no. asleep at like 7 a.m. and then have to record at 9 yeah. a.m. <laughs> I was just com I was just so confused. I didn't know what the hell was happening. You were yeah. very out of it. Like I, walking down the street with her, I was like, I'm just not going to talk to her because she does. I just, I'm, I'm not there. Like, <sighs> she was like a zombie. I was just escorting around to oh, her no. hotel. When you're in charge, that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> not good. The kids are in charge. Sorry, mommy's tired. <laughs> The baby's in charge. <laughs> wait, but Annie, what? So wait, what have you been? You been... <laughs> I was laying in bed. <laughs> okay, try not to I make started, me jealous. <laughs> listen, no, I was living. Cluster headaches are your dream life. Um, but it's just real <laughs> headaches, not fake ones. Um, no, it was like basically like I want to make a hat where you can clip your extensions like to the hat because that was basically my life. Was like, how do I like without having to do my hair, do my hair, <laughs> just to get dragged to Annie Wood to just do like, I was like, every episode I was like, hi, I'm in remission for one hour. It was crazy, but I'm I'm out of them and I'm back performing and stuff. It's fun. It's like fun to be back. But I was dying when you- How did Todd? He's fine. He has the ring on person, but- Wait, what? what? You he has the ring on person, but he's just not, he's like scared to do it wrong. So he's Wait, like looking for too much guidance. But he's telling you he that a ring. I mean, I think you might have known. No? I didn't. I, my, I knew that my great aunt's ring and then his mom and we put it together into a ring. I don't know what it looks like though. He has a ring. He has like, it was my great aunt's, great, great aunt's ring. It's like emerald and diamonds. And then his mom gave us uh tennis bracelet with her diamonds in it so You're then he got all her... Todd yes well maybe not <laughs> getting engaged doesn't mean much it in this not... not with this trio does it <laughs> although I have a crazy update which is that Dave and I in our long negotiation have broken up <laughs> she's being so happy she's like I choose New York <laughs> in our very long intense negotiations um we have made some progress in potentially having a wedding Wow. Where you're like, if you let me move to New York, <laughs> we can get married. And is it going to be an elopement? No. So as you guys know, maybe or maybe not, like literally every day of the last five years, I've been like, if you want to elope, I'm ready to go. Let's go. I'll marry you any minute. And he's like, no, he wants a wedding. And finally, we sort of made progress in New York where we, I may be open to us getting married in Chicago at the county hall where my parents got married by the same blind judge. Well, he, I think we ha who is he's Mateo Lane's grandfather. Right. It's so funny. So, does anyone know if Mateo Lane's grandfather is still with us? Um, but or maybe I was like, should Mateo Lane marry us? Like that he's would be booked, really bitch. cute. He's, he's so busy. He doesn't have time for your your nonsense little wedding. That doesn't mean I can't ask him. No, yeah, you shot. He'll sing. He'll steal the show. I know. <laughs> you definitely will be able to be like, shoot your shot, or just choose another blind person. Yeah. I like the idea of the blind thing. You can swap out Dave with a woman <laughs> and have your real wedding. <laughs> but so we might actually have a wedding this fall in Chicago. But I also told Dave I don't want anyone from my side to be there. <laughs> I just want it to be his family and his friends. Yeah, and you Not know what that parents. means, right? We're out, Dan. I never thought I was getting an invite to this wedding. <laughs> I was going to find out the wedding happened like three months later. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, so who knows? Maybe we'll get married. Well, congrats. Thank you. I do agree with you on this, Esther. What? I can't imagine planning like a big wedding. Seems like. Yeah. Are you going to have a biggest... wedding? 
I want, I'm thinking Vegas, but like with everyone, you know? So it's not like an elopement thing, but it's like. But a then, big Vegas wedding. Yeah. That I sounds like fun. I have never even heard of that. I feel like one of the Kardashians just no. I think uh, the jo- um, Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas sort of did that, right? They did this yeah. big fun Vegas thing. It's just we're so we love Vegas so much. It just seems like. But for my 40th birthday, my brother, my twin, and I are going to Vegas with our family, and Todd's family is going to come and stuff. My mom's like, "You should just get married there." I'm like, "I ain't get married without my nieces and nephews. Not a chance." Yeah. Wait. So your brother has agreed to see you on your birthdays he keeps picking up it's actually so annoying like when i pitched it i was like let's spend our birthdays together because i always try to but it's basically me just being like hey max can i sleep on your couch during our birthdays i know how you feel because i have friends who have a birthday within two weeks of mine and i'm always like let's celebrate together and no one ever wants to well maybe you should work on your personality i will try (laughs) no my brother it's like with my brother i'm like chasing him forever but no, he's like excited about it. He's like, I just want to spend a lot of money and have a lot of fun. I was like, speaking my language. <laughs> what so, do you think you guys will do? I don't know. I don't think anyone in my family is going to gamble. I will probably be the only one gambling because everyone's too scared of money. Mm. Um, but scared money don't make money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you guys heard about Dick Amnesia? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I haven't, but I definitely have. Is it the idea that you can't pick an, a previous lover's dick out of a lineup? That's basically part of the idea, but it's it's more so, I would say, that you don't remember any of the dicks that you've previously interacted with. So it's like if you think of an ex, you probably can't realistically... <laughs> what's so funny? I'm just like, have you ever like been with a guy whose dick was so big that you'll never forget it? The f- <laughs> Do you mean like I wouldn't know what it looked like? This is a real thing, by the way. It's dick amnesia. Most no, I know you got up TikTok. It. It's real. No, I didn't. <laughs> Where'd you get it from? A Vice article. <laughs> They're going bankrupt. Was it on TikTok? No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> Vice is going bankrupt. Because <laughs> they keep coming. I heard it from Eddie Wong. <laughs> oh, they are. Every, well, yeah. Everyone's going bankrupt. That's like yeah. a given. D- David's Bridal is going bankrupt. Wait, Bed Bath Beyond. That one is too close to home. Is it real or fake? But I feel like they've been going bankrupt for the past three years and always have the 70% off. I know. Yeah. It's just, no, yeah. yeah. Bed Bath and Beyond going bankrupt is just a part of a sale. It's such Did their bullshit. CEO even jump off a building? Oh, is that what happened? I think so. <laughs> Sorry. David's bridal, I think they deserve to go out of business. Why? Because haven't you had like awkward bridesmaid dress fittings there? And I'm like never. they always all the dresses look the same. It's so basic. It's like commodifies like a special a, a day that's supposed to be like special and unique. Is it affordable? Medium? Okay, so it's not even You've ne- you've never been to David's bridal? I guess you guys never walked in the quinces before, okay? <laughs> I did no, one we're last week. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, so dick amnesia. Okay, yeah. so because there's some dicks I wish I could forget. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Are you telling like if I think of my exes, I cannot picture what their dicks look like. Um, I okay. So you're talking to a girl who's ha- who's ran out of a room because she saw a downward pointing penis. Oh, we've all been with the de- with the Gonzo. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's it's a terrifying experience that I could pick out of a lineup. Where you going? Where, where's that? Gonna with hit? my eyes closed. <laughs> like, what organ is that going to hit? <laughs> <laughs> out your asshole. <laughs> you have to do like sideways. The- you have to do reverse cowgirl. No, he goes in the pussy out your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's convenient. Kind of I call it the Fruit Loop. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember your dicks? I mean, some. It's like... I think I remember the act and whether or not they were good lovers. I don't necessarily, like, know. Like, Bobby's I'll never forget because that was 10 years of... None like, of us will. <laughs> no, no one will ever forget that. But, I mean, like, I remember if someone was, like, a good lover, but not necessarily... Like, I'm trying to use my ex, Steve, as an example. Um, I was with him for five years. Um yeah, I don't think I could pick his dick out of a lineup. He had a, perf- a great penis. But honestly, but I don't I, think I could pick anyone's dick out of a lineup. Like, I, I'm used to seeing the dick, like, surrounded by things. Like, I'm not very dick pick, like, accepting. So but do you I'm think- not used to seeing just, like, a, a dick alone. Like, yeah. Like, dick. You're looking That's at- dick amnesia. 
it's holistic. It's like Got we're looking it. at the whole being, right? I don't think women are- I remember them all. I can't believe- I mean, <laughs> what? I love you, but I remember them all. I remember every single one <laughs> this of them. This is insane. I had a boyfriend who had like a big dick, but it was like, it was like his foreskin was like, he he was circumcised, but it was still baggy on his dick. It was like weird. It was like, <laughs> I've had a couple like- Sit, like guys that like it's like their circumcision only got to like a mock turtleneck like it never got really like down to a crew neck yeah what but I that's mean? a safer route because i've been with a guy who had too much removed <laughs> and so when he would have full blood flow it would hurt because his skin would crack because there wasn't enough skin to stretch i remember none i don't even remember days like when whenever <laughs> i see it i'm like whoa that's your dick like i don't remember a dick once it's not in my what do you feel when you look at your own dick <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Do you think that guys remember how what our pussies look like? Yes. They do? I think everyone remembers everything. This is crazy. This is real. This is science, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Wait, I want to know if like my exes can be you know, like, yeah, that's Kalila's pussy. Because I think I have a very average back. Oh, I wish. Don't brag. I but wish. it's so average. I think my, painfully I think, average. I, average is so ideal in every way, I think. I had a I had a waxer. I think I already told you guys this. I had a waxer in New York who waxed like everyone. Like she waxed so many vaginas a day. And when she recognized me on the subway, I was like, oh no. <laughs> She remembers. No, she did. You didn't have your vagina out on the subway. I know, but it's like it takes a special vagas no. to remember. Well, maybe I she has pussy amnesia. Loud. Yeah, I think she remembers. But I remember just being like, oh, I don't want her to remember. Wait, what are you like during a wax? Are you like silent or crying <laughs> yes. or what do you like? What? I just got legs, cookie, bee hole, armpits, wax. Uh huh. All together, I got sugared. <laughs> it was two hours. <laughs> it was so painful. I like like my. I'm not even gonna lie. I kind of like getting my asshole waxed. I do like how it feels. Well, it, uh, it doesn't hurt me. It doesn't hurt. It's like it's like a slap. Which, well, by the way, you didn't respond to my slap fight request. Wait, I didn't. I don't remember this. You sent me a video of, of back in the day of oh when us, you like, hit me in the face yeah. and Whitney saw. I was like, we should do a. I was like, we should do a slap fight. Radio silence. Yeah, no, I'm not getting so a slap fight. Slap. <laughs> She'd fly across the room. Why would I agree to that? Like Slaps power slapping. Really that, yeah. It's competitive. I know you would do it with me. Yeah, but you know what? I feel I'd really bad because my my hands and my paws are massive. Like it would be, your it would paws? be your whole head. My paws Wait, are but huge. The butthole, in my opinion, doesn't hurt because it comes aft at the very end of the bikini wax, and so you're like, I've already been through hell. Like the butthole can't do anything. What if I was like, it does? Well, they're going like the, asshole first with my wax. <laughs> like, well, I think the butthole gets just daily. Um, beatings, right? Like there's always what? action there. Yeah. So I think it's used to large things being, you know, you know, going out of it. So I don't. Bragger. I honestly <laughs> thought you were about to say going into it. I was like, Kalila, wait, this Elsa, is like you, not normal. Do you take big shits? What the fuck is this? They're I know, small, but you're so like, small. They're small to us, but big to her. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Randy show. It looks like you know, I lean shit. towards constipation. So if you're just bragging that you're just taking big dumps every day, like that's really disrespectful. <laughs> So no, I really want to ding. know. Do you do you poop big all the I, time? I caca is perfect. Um, wait, but what are you like during a wax? I was, I mean, I was like twitching. I was, it was just nonstop pain for two hours. Here's what it is: I got the whole thing waxed off just to try it, and I've I've never had the top hair. I've always le always left a Dorito. So that so that was untouched, never been waxed. Oh, area that's and, and that's the worst area. it was the most painful <laughs> that's the shit. worst area i almost quit and just had like what was like a my pussy almost looked like a barista with like a half shaved head like, <laughs> i was like are we about to leave this because i was wait a second so you had a dorito there for years do you trim it or do you let it go high well i have a little fun with it you let it go high you trim it down because it's it's, it's I, what you can make it like a a very long Dorito. Um, also, I don't a Pringles can. <laughs> it's one of those 3D ones. <laughs> I don't think we should be giving Doritos free advertising. I think we should give it a generic name like cheesy tortilla chip. Do you know what I like about this? What? Your head's in the game. Baby. <laughs> Your head's in the game, baby. I'm just sick of like the 90s foods that like dominate my brain all the time. Like they they have there's like a Doritos poster ingrained in my brain. It's not. But fair. the Ozempic takes care of that, right? I wish. <laughs> you guys, it's insane how many people are on Ozempic. <laughs> diabetic people don't have it. It's so funny. I mean, like, everyone I look at is just rail and thin now. Really? And I'm like, yeah. I can totally tell Maybe the weight loss is, is fast. This no, is me being out of town for two months, and I totally am not experiencing this at all. 
Is everyone here thin all of a sudden? Yes, except for Annie and I. <laughs> everyone. Oh. Shadow, bring me with you. <laughs> <laughs> I had cluster headaches. I was laying in bed all day. I, I didn't have cluster headaches and I've gotten bigger. So you're good. I can't tell what you look like because you're dressed like a potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm wearing fine. camo pants. I, I want to admit something. So I'm trying to pack on like a lot of muscle. And so I'm I'm in my full like bulk phase. We had a guest on um, Tiger Belly two days ago, David. So and on, he, on Tiger Belly, he was like, I saw this person at the gym, like rolling around, stretching. And I was like, dude, that's a buff ass dude. Is that like a buff ass dude or a buff ass like trans girl? And then it was you and it was me. He was like, oh, my God, it's Kyle. I and I'm fine. Can with I it. see I've, I've bulked before. Can I see now on camera. Yes. It's there's just a lot of meat on my body. You're dressed. This is so unfair. I this think is that's a lesbian great. and Thank I want to just see her. I, but I feel really strong. I'm lifting a lot. I'm lifting heavy. And I, I like being, a, you know, a, a, you could just a bulky like bitch. A little, give us like a little. Maybe, like maybe, a... maybe. But it, I'm not I'm not toned yet because I've just packed on the muscle and there's zero What are you eating tone. to tone on? I'm not toning yet. I'm yeah, not what are you eating anything. to pack on the weight? What kind of There's food? a lot of protein and I'm not skimping on carbs. I'm eating well. Yeah. I'm not in a calorie deficit. I'm just like eating healthy but not restricting either Wait, I, i'm not trying to copy you but i <laughs> literally have been kind of low-key doing the same thing so, but you have to exercise really. i've been doing pilates me too i'm so into it it makes me it does make me feel like a kept woman and it's like i don't like the vibe with a reformer no? yes. i love it i love being like all tied up in there i love the reformer but like the branding that pilates has in my mind is like kept woman like housewife, housewife. With, like who runs like a charity event right. like it's so not because it's cool. expensive because it's expensive <laughs> yeah that's probably that's exactly why yeah Pilates is the best are you doing classes or privates I'm doing class I've been doing classes in New York and I'm like I'm gonna do it here too but yeah, it's the best. I just I find that it's like it's hard, but it's also fun. So, and it's kind of easy too, right? Like it feels, you lay it down. tricks you, it tricks you to- Yeah, but it also works on like these tiny muscles yeah. that you don't normally do by doing like a regular deadlift, you know? So I but like so, that part like, of it. But so like feeling the muscles work, it's given me more freedom to be like, all right, I am going to pack on my protein and like eat like a fitness girly and like- But Pilates is very toning. It is like, you're not packing on the muscle there. You really are kind of shredding. Well, Esther's like, uh, uh, never mind. I'm bad. <laughs> what were you eating in New York? What was were you eating pizza and stuff? Uh, <laughs> I ate everything in New pizza. York. I, I ate everything. I we had pizza. I mean, Dave is like, I was telling Dave like he. This is what makes him the best person, but also the worst. Like he is always, no matter what, down to eat or take a nap. Like any given point. What a dream boy. I know, but it's also not good because like you know. When you're with someone and they're just like, let's go get pizza. I'm like, I didn't need to hear that. But I will yeah. say this about naps. Ne I never feel more bonded with a partner than when we take random, like unplanned naps together. Oh, you together. just pass out. You yeah. just pass out together, like really tightly wrapped yeah. around each other is the best, most bonding feeling in the world for me. Or a nap holding a baby. <laughs> oh my God. What did New York do to this? <laughs> <laughs> Who's baby? When I used to babysit, sometimes the baby would fall asleep and then I would just kind of fall asleep with oh it. Oh my God, worst babysitter ever. <laughs> no. Like, Roz, is you're suffocating with your tits. <laughs> <laughs> baby can't breathe. I know you've taken the morning after pill. <laughs> but being single isn't to. easy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not ready to feed out my baby. <laughs> Being single with a breeding kink is not easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was just told that's what I have. I like to play with fire a little bit, but thank God for Julie because it gives me the option to fulfill my kinks, but also, you know, stop an unwanted pregnancy. Look, you like sex original recipe, as we've learned. Um, I'll say this. I am 35 and engaged. It is a weird time in your life to need a morning after pill, but sometimes you're not ready. And I'm very appreciative of Julie because it actually makes the experience feel kind of fun and like you're a hot girl and not like you're a sad person buying a sad box that's not pretty. Behind the counter. Yeah. I mean, like this Julie is just something I wish I had in my teens and in my 20s. Looking at that purple pink box, it's just so much less serious and scary than what's already out there. Also, yeah. how cool to be the girl at the party that's like, 
oh yeah, I have this just in case, you know, yeah. just flex that. <laughs> like, and weirdly, my name is also Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Julie is an FDA-approved morning-after pill that helps stop pregnancy before it starts. If you've ever had unprotected sex, forgot your birth control, had a condom break, or you're just not totally sure, we are excited to talk about a new company that is giving emergency contraception a much-needed rebrand. And this is how Julie works, you guys. So Julie stops your body from releasing an egg using using the same active ingredient as Plan B or other morning-after pills. Essentially, Julie works by preventing or delaying your ovulation. With no egg, there's no fertilization and therefore no pregnancy, and it's no risk to future fertility. It's legal in all 50 states. You do not need an ID, prescription, or credit card to get it. And they just launched at CVS. You can also find it at Target and Walmart across the U.S. Um, And Julie is not just a morning after pill. It's a morning after pill brand that is working to increase access to emergency contraception for women across the country, which is very important right now. Julie has a one-for-one donation program. That means every time you purchase a Julie at a store or online, the company will donate one pill to someone who needs it. Julie partners with over 25 organizations across the country to provide donations to those disproportionately impacted by health inequalities. You can go to juliecare.co to learn more or find Julie at your nearest CVS, Target, or Walmart today. That's juliecare.co to learn more. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It is so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. But we, when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin and burned out. And I always believe it's like if you don't fill your own cup, you cannot fill someone else's. You need to make sure that your needs are met. You need to make sure that you're operating at your best self. And there's really no better way to ensure that than seeing a therapist. What what else can you do that's truly for you, for your mental health, for your happiness, to better your future than Talk to a professional. What I love about BetterHelp is it's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. They also have a journal feature on the app where you can write down your heavy thoughts and share them with your therapist on your next appointment. And you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. I struggled so much finding a therapist in my 20s and like just all those hurdles, parking, um, just finding someone that was the right fit for you. The fact that BetterHelp has now made it so convenient and affordable, you can do it from home. You can switch therapists easy at any time. You can find someone who's your specialty. Um, I think if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Tuesday. No, guys, if I had gone to New York with you, it would have been so crazy. It been we'll so go fun. back. It would have been so fun. I had I had it all planned. Randy and Todd were coming. I got like really? the Soho Grand Hotel. Randy was going to come? Yes, I got sweet Wow, tickets. I would have not. I, my hotel was not as fancy. It would have been so fun. It would have been so fun. I bought so many clothes. You did? I spent so, I, guys, I was so ready to go. It was such a bummer. I was so sick. We'll go back. Yeah. Why don't we do like an end of summer thing? Yeah. And then we do have to go to Vegas and shit and maybe tour. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. So on Raya, I saw me a guy. You know how like on, on, on Raya you can see like what are you seeking? What are you looking for? And I've never X'd out of a profile so fast. And because this is what it said, seeking a partner who makes every day feel extraordinary. Like, think about what we just said, naps and food. Like, imagine being with a guy who wants that type of girl to make every like mundane day, extraordinary. Wait, is that you make it extraordinary? Yeah, no, it seeking a be- partner who no. makes every day feel extraordinary. No, bro, you make it extraordinary if that's what you want. Yeah. That's, it should say, I will make every day extraordinary for you. And like, even that is gross. Like, no, thank you. I <laughs> like That sounds naps. like he's looking for a Pilates girl. Why? Just a kept woman. You no, he's what? looking for like a, a someone to like shake keys in front of his face and be like entertain him. I think any actually, I think you are gonna have a baby soon. This is crazy. All your baby references, and then you get the little thing. <laughs> oh my and god! Then fall asleep. No. Oh, I just but, started doing Pilates. <laughs> I, yeah, I just started to That's get so my hot funny. girl body going. Wait a second. 
I just remembered, I still, well, I told you New York. I've had a broken toe for two months. I had a broken toe in the Philippines. I broke it it's in the so Philippines. It's so weird to have someone with two opposite experiences. <laughs> Everyone knew about this broken toe. And this and, is the first I'm hearing about this. And it's story. still broken. And I've walked everywhere, traveled everywhere. Not, not that is. It's that smashed is. broken. I mean, it's still this big. No. I, you Esther, think- she works out way harder than you. You have to admit she has a better tolerance for pain. I could not walk. You don't understand. It wasn't a pain tolerance. When something, when you're walking and it makes it worse, that's not having a, you don't want to, you don't want to tolerate that kind of pain. You have to know which pain to tolerate and which pain not <laughs> to tolerate. I want to meet your doctors because I feel like they're just little kids that you babysit for in <laughs> doctor's outfits. Like. And I brush their hair <laughs> while they're diagnosing me. But did you feel like incapacitated, like fully disabled and handicapped? Well, she does it also every day. <laughs> yes. I can't be the only person who broke their pinky do toe, which I it might have only been a fracture, but in the a end, fracture is a break. That's okay. real. Yeah, I can't be the only one who couldn't walk from that. Maybe because mine is the second toe, so it's sort of supported by the toes around it, yeah. and yours is just hanging off. Okay, this I probably could have walked if I walked like this. I, had I thought you were about to pull your your feet. I was like, we're about to get some views, baby. <laughs> Which, like, you can walk from room to room, yeah, but you Esther, can't. that is how you walk. <laughs> I know. That, you just showed us you walking regular. That's your diaper butt walk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's what those paparazzi were just randomly catching. Well, that's when I, after sitting for more than five minutes, I my hips freeze up. I need to warm up. <laughs> um, I have, wait, what were we just, what did you just bring up? My broken toe. No, oh yeah, okay, so you're... So you're claiming that you broke your toe and you can just do everything normal. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, no, I, it it hurts. It hurts when I sleep. Yeah. I feel it in my sleep. I feel it when I wake up. I feel it w w when I walk. I'm just saying it didn't require a wheelchair. Oh, <laughs> well, what makes you feel the need to say that? <laughs> I mean, weren't you in Japan in a wheel, Dave pushing you around in a wheelchair? Was I? I can't. Is that, <laughs> is that what happened? I don't remember. I, I didn't see that picture of you. You know, the paparazzi didn't get the <laughs> Oh, wheelchair. my God. If the paparazzi got you on a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just saw Wicked and I was like, oh, we should do Wicked theme. But then I fucking realized that you'll be uh, Glinda, you'll be Alphaba, and I'll be Alphaba's sister who's in a wheelchair because her legs don't work. <laughs> it's so I'm so I'm not pitching that as a theme. But you know where you are. That's the truth. It's like it's not like anyone's done it to you. You are wheelchair girl. Wait, you that's are. really a thing You're now. Right. I heard like um, trans ableism. Yeah. People <laughs> identifying as like handicapped. Have you heard this fancy? So there are people out there who identify as handicapped. I'm listening. That's insane. Even though they have no true disability and um oh. well who's it, to say who has true and who has false oh disability God. how's your how's your neck pain during uh pilates honestly i have really cured a lot of my physical ailments i'm proud of are you a trans ableist what do you mean <laughs> do you do it what do, do you, you identify as handicapped it's not a no yeah it was a thoughtful <laughs> because you did claim to not have neck muscles at one point I didn't for many years or back muscles, actually. Oh my God. I didn't. <laughs> it's, and it's really, it's actually really are you sad. Sure you don't want to stop it's that. actually really sad. It is sad. It's sad in a different way than I think you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sad. And I have realized lately, now that we're talking about this, that chairs are not made for people my size. Okay. That's why I have to sit in funny positions and that's why I have. Well, what is it? How does she explain her weird squat is, she does? There are kid sections in every store. <laughs> mm, that is a good point. Chairs. Yeah. Do you have to go like in Target to use the little sink? <laughs> I would probably be a lot better off if I did make choices like that. Yeah. If Where are some platforms? Why don't you try? Because then I'm like becoming like everyone else. I think you should. You're not like anyone. <laughs> Very unique. <laughs> You try towards basic. It's very weird. <laughs> She's begging to be basic. No, someone <laughs> on a TikTok live called me mid, and I was like, that is the best compliment I could ever have. Being mid, like, who doesn't want to be mid? They meant middle aged. <laughs> <laughs> mid is not a slam. Mid for is me. gorgeous. Mid pussy, mid everything is okay. I think I've always strived for mid. Mid's okay. Mid tits, mid ass. Ooh, my tits are things subpar. Mid face. 
Wait, no, you don't have mid tits. Your no, tits are I good. Do. Your tits are good. No, you have supreme, both of you. <laughs> Mine are just under mid, I think. Because I had, you know, like I, I had implants, took them out. There's just a lot's going I've on. I've ravaged. In there. I've ravaged. You basically probably had the experience of like breastfeeding without breastfeeding. Probably. Where they get really big and then small again. Yeah, but you know, no, I've seen them. enough, they, they don't sag. Yeah. So because I didn't this? have them on. I only had them for like a year and a half. So probably your tits are perfect, but you remember what they looked like. And no, I'll show them. you. So when I flex, yeah, there's like us. indentation right here. But it's really? so I cannot flex when I'm naked in front of a boy. Just I have to keep thinking, don't like use your muscles or your pec muscles or flex. It's so funny to imagine you just flexing. <laughs> like you're the okay, only one you? in this room that would be like, look. Well, no, like if I'm on top, right? If I'm on top, I have to be mindful to not put my hands like on his chest or else you will see my pecs sort of but like rise. are they rise. looking at that point? Wait. Yeah. Are they well, you're on going, top, Ooh. aren't your hands, hands are not on the man, are they? They They're go different the different ways. No, I'm on, I do multiple. So I, I sometimes I lay flat fully on them. Sometimes I do this. It depends. It depends. But I move around. Esther, what would you do if you were ever going to put the effort in to be on top? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're like this? I, That's honestly, a tiny hallway. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they'll be like, Sometimes my hands will be like, like here. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. <laughs> He's got a CPAP on. <laughs> Wait, they really like He's this. He's so quiet. <laughs> 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 they really are like this. I'm not kidding. Oh, <laughs> and I know what God. it looks like. <laughs> but it's not that, I swear. Uh, <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> not <trying> to... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the perils of dating an older man. <laughs> No, like, by the way, there's so many good TikToks out there. I'm learning a lot about being on top. Like, they... TikTok? They're teaching us. <laughs> this is a TikTok. This is why they want to ban it, because all of us girls are getting together and learning how to get get off. And it's only like, how many? How long are TikToks? How long do they go? 45 seconds. <laughs> and then you got to just get off in 45 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> how do you guys feel about people, um, everyone being verified now, because they can pay for it? Oh, I'm glad you brought this up. It's so There's dumb. nothing funnier than <laughs> going on to Twitter the day it happens. Because it was a treat. Okay, so you know how it worked on Twitter. It was like, you could pay for your, your check mark or, and and he kept saying, we're going to take your check marks away. You're going to take your check marks away unless you pay this like monthly thing. And then they he took them away one day and you could see who still had their check marks. And it was literally just Esther. And I didn't pay. Okay. No one believes me. Okay. It's crazy. I did not oh, pay. Okay. I think if, because you're maybe a lot more active on Twitter. I don't know what it is. There's no rhyme or reason. Because at first I was like, I was trying to figure out what the... You if think it, Carlos paid for buying her back? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will show you receipts. I'll figure out how to... I maybe mean, you I, have just general amnesia, not just yeah, amnesia. Yeah, you have you know. a... Pen. This is crazy. If you <laughs> think that funniest. my half-Jewish ass would pay $8 a month for something that But that other half really wants that no. status. <laughs> that other half really wants that status. I promise you I don't understand what happened. Also, someone said that there's a hack where if you write blue check in your Twitter bio it will give you but a you didn't do that no <laughs> wait a second but wait that? oh you're i feel like you're intimidated by my blue check <laughs> i promise you i'm not you're i just want to you know the joy of probably when you were the only person it's embarrassing no oh, i it's very embarrassing i came forward and was like please remove this like i don't want it because <laughs> it, <laughs> it makes me look like an or Elon was girl. it no i know no, or it was, was it cool six it months like of you girl. directly tweeting at elon Oh, saying, yeah, I will have your baby. Yeah. <laughs> right? You did do that. I did. That's true. I've been campaigning a while. <laughs> to be. I've been a pick me for a while on Twitter. No, but on Instagram, like I'm seeing um, uh, people, everyone's got just a blue check. Okay, oh, right? it's can confusing. It yeah, you can yeah. buy it. I hate, I it know, is, I don't like this. Well, then you have to do like a double check and then you see that they have like th 31 followers and you're like, okay. It is like weird because it's like when brands are hitting you up and stuff, you want to know if they're like- I think it's brand. a complete miss. I think this was like yeah. a, is a complete miss and a complete failure. Like, but I get that also being verified in general is stupid and like no one should have it. But this version of it is really stupid. It's just like, I've been verified so long. It's like, ugh. Who cares if you lose it? <laughs> what on Twitter? <laughs> Don't worry. The, being not verified is the verified. <laughs> you and all like the followers are verified. It's so sad. Me, Trisha Paytas kept her blue check mysteriously. 
So I don't know. I I. I, he, one of her multiple personalities might have done it. <laughs> <laughs> her as a Dairy Queen employee signed up. <laughs> oh my God, those are her multiple personalities right now that she's on. In. Just different. <laughs> no, I know. I, and Dave is intimidated too. I, I'm used to this. Don't worry. Uh, Dave accused me of paying as well. I had. I mean, I just want to say to be a, the type of person that even your fiance who you live with doesn't believe you. <laughs> I mean, that is what I'm intimidated by. To be, have that power. <laughs> <laughs> it was the day. I know. I I volunteer. I said I come forward. I would like this taken away. Yeah, I was in so much pain, and I do want to thank you. You really did help me. You're welcome. You gave me a good giggle. <laughs> You're very welcome for that. <laughs> okay, so ladies, um, here's the deal. Initially, we thought it was a good idea to gift our fathers um, male <laughs> grooming kits, but it turns out it's a good idea to gift your partner yes, a male grooming yes. kit. That's what we want to say. I mean, happy Father's Day across the board, even to your own fathers, but maybe give it to your partner, maybe not it's your Daddy's father. Maybe it's Daddy's Day for you, you know? Or if you have that relationship with your dad, why not? Maybe your mom's like, hey, like, you know, like, do me a solid and can you get I mean, your... Or maybe I would have, yeah. there's a male coworker on an Andres or a Pete, and you need to get them the the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, which inside he will find a signature beard hedge trimmer, beard shampoo and conditioner, beard oil, beard balm, and two free gifts with their signature beard comb and scissors. I Actually, that's a really cute gift for a dad. I know the the beard package. Yeah, I was just thinking if I if I got my dad manscaped. My, I would have to come in person because my mom would have to take one side and I would have to take oh, the other Annie, side as a Annie, for him Annie. to get a good shave. Oh, I love a good bat wing. Listen, he'll be 82 by the time this comes out. With 20 hair cutting lengths and a singular guard, he'll be able to craft his look like never before without a mess in the drawers. <laughs> hey guys, let me just say something, okay? You don't know when you're going to wake up one day, you're going to go to bed, you're going to wake up one day, you're going to be 82 years old, okay? It's going to be very hard to shave your sack then. So I don't want you to take these sa these shavable sack years for granted. It's time. And it's with time. and Manscaped, you guys, like you're not going to get any nicks. This is beautiful. This beautiful bundle is absolutely daddy material. You hear that? Daddy <laughs> material. It includes their signature lawnmower 4.0, brand new Weed Whacker 2.0 ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, super important, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold his goodies. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code Trash Tuesday at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code Trash Tuesday. Make this Father's Day one he won't forget with Manscaped. <laughs> You know, one thing that I realized that I do in my relationship that if a guy did this, I would be so turned off and grossed out, but I can't stop myself is whenever I do the slightest thing that is like beneficial for the household. I Example. Need... Yeah, I know. Let's the slightest. Yeah. Bit. We want to hear the slightest. OK, bit. I'll give you Dave is thirsty and I have water on hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need that's an accidental good deed <laughs> not what happens three times in a row baby <laughs> okay she's just been doing Pilates so she's up in her uh, her hydration <laughs> three times in a row he needed water I had it I need so much validation and praise for that, uh, that I'm like holy shit like I did that like I did that yeah. for you and I feel like if a guy did that I would be so repulsed I'd be like ew that is the bare minimum of what I expect out of you well who does like your dishes Dave we both we do them we both do them yeah yeah equally probably there's that saying which is Dave told me this very early in our relationship and it, it has proven to be very useful, which is like in a relationship, I think in any partnership, you go in assuming you're going to do 60% of the work and they'll do 40. And so then you like never get like resentful. You, there's not a chance in hell you do 60% of anything. I know you think that. <laughs> of Maybe 60% of the This is projecting the because I think t Todd, No, I would never, I would never tell you any lie about the 90 to 10 percent <laughs> i would never what I is would that never... like it's heaven it's amazing it's so nice it's so good but you have to be very nice you can't ever 
be mad at the Dave has angel. fully trained me and it's it is sad it's sick and sad like I do my chores now it's horrible <laughs> that's it good this way but you so he does 90% of the yeah. efforts and how do you we found a very good new cleaning lady too that makes us all so happy how do you get away with that <laughs> He offered it up in a weak moment. And <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. We're very like anyone's dreams can come true in the relationship. We support each other anything we want to do. And I. As long as the dishes luckily, are clean. <laughs> but luckily. No, sometimes they're not clean. But I like every once in a while I'll do them. But it's not often. Like they'll just stay there. Sometimes I'll be like, Todd, you really like let me mess this place up. It's always my. <laughs> <laughs> They'll pile up. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. You know what Dave has done that really helps me is he will give me credit. He knows that I'm a girl who needs credit. And so I do the dishes and he's like, thank you so much. And yeah, like, you're a you're you know, a gold star baby. Yes, yeah, so a gold star. I have a praise kink. <laughs> yeah. What if, what if he gave you like little like raffle tickets? That would be I just got so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And they're like, who's gonna win oh this my raffle? God. But it's all just your tickets. I'm freaking who's out. Who's gonna win this raffle? Oh my God, I have the chills. Again, it's <laughs> Esther. <laughs> Esther wins doing the dishes again. <laughs> oh my God, I want that so bad. Um, but isn't that something that was trained when you're younger with the gold stars? Yes. yes. The teacher no, it's, it it's so helpful. It really yeah. is like any tiny little good job. It just goes. Do you see? Wouldn't that be worth doing dishes for? I have. Wait, you have to ask me that, or you have to answer me this. OK, I have been thinking about writing out a script of what I want Todd to say to me <laughs> yes. when I'm upset. Yes. I don't want him to read it, but I want him to memorize it. Okay. <laughs> and I don't Can we all care. get one of those? We Honestly, should all give right. that to everyone. Each other. think so? Just the exact thing you want to hear? Yes. Because it doesn't matter if someone means it. <laughs> right? Because the truth is, if we're healthy, we're telling it to ourselves. Like, it's always like something we really just need to tell ourselves. But mine vary situation to situation. <laughs> You might have to be smart enough to kind of... Um, you have a yellow one and you have a black one. You okay, go, is cool. it a sunny day or a dark <laughs> Also, day? it's got to be like if three days before my period, different script. It's crazy how much I know now. I used to not know when I was getting my period. Now I just know so Same. much. Same. Same. Yes. But it's just because I've worked on myself where I'm not in a rage at all times. So it's, it is just wild. I start crying at like, I got so moved by the, the um, Barbie with Down syndrome. What's Barbie I with Down was, syndrome? What is that? There's a Barbie that has Down syndrome now. <laughs> and I was, uh, I mean, not that I wouldn't be moved by Oh, anyway. look how fancy type fancy. Barbie, B-A-R-B-Y. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> a joke I'm not going to take right now. That would be very rude to this Down syndrome Barbie doll. No, let's hear Barbie. Even, no, because I think even the Barbie doll would have spelled it right. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. He's filling in for he's now our new Carlos. I think you guys got an upgrade. No, we're so happy. Okay. It's a Barbie. No, 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 no. Please. Andy please. is so, we're all, yeah. No, we're, we Go don't want to type be, it up. Barbie. <laughs> Barbie. With Down syndrome. It's so cute. She does look just normal, honestly. Yeah. Isn't she so cute? So cute. Aren't you so happy about this? I was crying. So you, you, you had an emotional moment. I have very like, I mean, not that I wouldn't been moved by this, but I mean, I was like posting about it. I was just really in it. No, I'm sick of, I'm so sick of the companies trying to, to make good on torturing us for our whole lives. Like this does not well, make the up truth, for. Are you mad because they don't have like an Esther looking one yet? <laughs> that they skipped you for the Down syndrome kids? Like a little bit. <laughs> like, honestly, Esther. I'm a short brown haired girl. Like they have wheelchair Barbies. They they don't actually. <laughs> they do. Oh, I just saw a video of a of a girl in a wheelchair. Short diving. brown Barbie is not going to come out how you want it to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the language barrier is not working out for us here. <laughs> you, I understand. Barbie has always been a positive experience for you because you have blonde hair and blue eyes. But also they're green <laughs> and it's dyed, but it's okay. I do think that Kalila should have been cast in the Barbie movie because there is no Barbie, there's no Kalila Barbie in the movie. With my mid tits. 
<laughs> on my mid tits Barbie. Oh, we're back. <laughs> the hottest one complaining about her look. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Here we are again. Nothing's changed. Just, as, Esther works out. I'm happy about that. I have because been working when you out came for out, years. <laughs> but when you're always like, I'm really dedicated to my once a week. You're how many times are you doing Pilates a week? Two, three, four? I mean, I when I was in New York, I took a workout class like on average, probably four days a week. Some musical theater dance. Oh my god! Some ballet. Lots of walking, yeah. probably. Lots of walk. It is weird. You never lived in New York. Thank you so much. You're because like I believe nerd. this was yeah. a clerical error. I don't know how I ended up in LA. It doesn't make any sense. The second I'm in New York, I'm like, this is. It reminds me of how I grew up, like outside of Chicago. Like the palm trees everywhere is like being on vacation. That's not the vibe. Like pe- there are people like me everywhere in New York. There are short pale Jewish woman with brown hair everywhere. I just feel like a And their husbands of- are wearing like curly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Annie. They have like their wigs and <laughs> Annie, what is what does what do you want your script to Todd? Or what do you want your script to say when I just want I literally just want someone to say everything is gonna work out exactly how you want it to work out. Don't worry. Everything's happening the way it's supposed to happen. I do like that. That's all I want. Just a confidence in where things are going and that anything that's happening in the moment is just leading to what. You know what? This is so sad, but you might benefit from this. Something that I've been doing lately is like, I'll make these little videos for myself that are very similar. Oh, I can't wait to hack your phone. (laughs) That are like, you're doing great. Like you just did this and (laughs) reminding me for when I'm low. Is it a voice note or a video? It's a video. Okay, no, it's a selfie mode video. That's good. You're feeling yourself now. You want to see yourself. You want to see your face saying it. So that time. you can then go call call up those later when you're. I think that's low. a good idea. I like that. Yeah, and then you'll be like, oh, okay, this because another thing, it's like you're not your moods, like, and that's what I've learned with the period is like that week around it. For me, I don't get angry and I don't get sad. I get lethargic. I start to feel like everything is impossible. I feel like, how could I have made this plan? Like, I just get so low. And so I've learned to be like, okay, when that is happening, I don't trust that person. That person is not like, they're not in charge. I'm not my those moods. It's the little wheelchair witch from Wicked. <laughs> Netha. Yeah. And without like invalidating like how you're feeling in that moment, you I do have to remind myself, like my feelings are not factual, right. like right now. Because, boy, when I get in my head, it's like 50 times bigger than it actually yeah. is. So I'm like, my feelings are not fact. My feelings are not fact. That's a big one that Whitney, I feel like, has said for over the years, uh, feelings are not facts. Like, They're not. Mm-hmm. She said a good one to me, too, where she's like, don't go to the don't go to the problem for the solution. Yeah. Oh, she's good so one. good at those, like, um, You can just helpful. tell when someone's just been in therapy. What is another thing? Um, one of my professors in nursing school said, don't borrow bad news. Mm. So it's that. like, for me, like, uh, for instance, like, perfect example is like my mom. She had um, blood work done and there was one thing that was off in her numbers. And already she's like, I have cancer. And so it's basically don't don't live in like the bad news, the results, like don't live in what you think it is, like going down the rabbit hole of WebMD and, you know, like there nothing has, bad has happened. Do you think like um, that means like when Esther was like, I think we need to like defend Anne Frank? When she, you remember when you had a, your new take Yeah, I don't, I agree with my take on Anne Frank. We You're tried- like, let's go back. I gotta live, I gotta feel the pain for Anne Frank? No, I just think it's embarrassing to have your journals read by millions. Well, of yours people. are going to be videos of you going like, "You go, girl." <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be so embarrassing when that's what people little Exactly, most that's why I'm advocating for Anne Frank. <laughs> I'm advocating for Anne Frank's diary to never be read again. <laughs> that's so fucked up. Off the presses. <laughs> hey, Frank, you're out of here. I pitched something to Esther. I kind of want to try. I feel like I'm so behind on like the beauty trends. I want to try micro needling. Mm. And I was thinking maybe we could take a field trip. To all get microneedled. Microneedled. I want to get, um, I think I want to do laser after all that waxing. What is that? La- I want laser hair removal. Oh, 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 me too. No, I honestly don't want laser hair removal. I, I'm really happy with my wax routine. I love. How many, how often do you go? Well, I haven't gone in two months, so it's not looking good right now. I see. But. I'll show you mine. I haven't gone in a month. I'll oh, show you know. mine. It's 
Let me see. <laughs> Skin oh wow! But wow. you have really pretty pubes. What I think it's like really dark. What do you mean pretty? It's hot. It's like. What it, do you mean pretty? <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah, like Is, that's elaborate. that's two months. Expand on that. Two months. Wow, you do grow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Asian. I'm Jewish. No, Asian, different over here. Asians have pubes. That's a misconception. Completely bald. Oh my god, how long is that? Let me see. <laughs> like two weeks. <laughs> Oh, very clean. Does mine's it, is mine's about a pretty month. Pretty he said it looks like a little boy's butt, but we're going to just not pretend he didn't say that. <sighs> I like it now. I used to not like it. What? I didn't like being I, the idea of being fully naked. I feel like I'm naked for the first time in my whole life without Finally. the Lord. But your pussy skin is so pretty. I know it's smooth, right? Yeah. But mine is um What are these mine's a month. about over here? <laughs> I think it's Kalila. like that's a month. Kalila. That's literally crazy. you're a fire. Good moment for a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just insert them no. in. No. Mm, this is a good banana. Mm -hmm. Better than Carlos's choice. <laughs> I oh, Carlos's so. were always all fucking bruised and Yes. Yeah. What did he do to those bananas? <laughs> I don't know, but I heard a rumor of what he's doing on the Bad Friends tour. Do you know? What? His job is he, he's not allowed to go anywhere. He has to stay on the bus. And he um, he empties out the septic tank. <laughs> That's what he did on my tour. That's <laughs> if there was no septic tank. He cleaned my diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Clean the diaper, not change it. <laughs> I like the idea of you like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's Jewish. <laughs> she had to save that money for her uh, blue check mark. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dressed like your blue check mark today? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny when it was just you as dirt. <laughs> I guess Elon just thought I was a special girl. Just watching the backpedaling of everyone, like I'll I'll believe you that you had a fluke just so we can stay friends. <laughs> but just the I would not lie. That's so embarrassing. Like it's such an obvious <laughs> Like it's so humiliating. There's no winning in this position. <laughs> <laughs> because no one believes that I didn't pay. So it seems like I'm lying. Like, why would I put... But why are you going lying? Why are you going to John Mulaney? <laughs> you made it lying. John Mulaney, not me. Because guys... I did hear that when you said it. Do you guys know what a human decanter is? As like a party trick, um, a man will... Um, put a um, a catheter up his pee hole, empty out his bladder, Stop. and then refill his bladder with wine Stop. and then no, piss no, no. into people's mouths. Stop. No, we're not. What did Pete suggest we try it? <laughs> Which one of you would do it? I'll pee in your mouth. No, no, no. They have to pee in each other's mouths, but it's... <laughs> and the reason, the only reason I know about this is because an ER doctor... I will piss all over you. The ER, an ER I'll doctor... I'll piss you as well. <laughs> it's just us trying to alpha each shake, other. <laughs> shake on it. <laughs> Wait, so I guess an ER doctor was talking about how a person came in with um, a set of symptoms and they found out that he had an, a, like a kidney infection, a UTI, because he was doing this for a senior, like a retirement home. Why? Because I guess um, old people have kinks too and they want wine that. out of a out of the tap well i found out some stuff on the road <laughs> by the way i have some really cute things from the road to give you guys wow you guys are so no, no, jaded no, this, is, this is similar this is like related wait what what do you mean we're so jaded i basically said someone was pissing wine out of their penises into old people's Listen, mouths and you're like that's a yeah. jesus move, that's a jesus move. <laughs> oh, i'm just turn urine into wine baby what part of me do you think is okay just with came this back from new york <laughs> I'm, I know she's like piss wine same thing. No, that is so unhealthy. Did you drink in New York? Alcohol? Yeah. Why would I suddenly drink alcohol? Because you change. Oh, do you know that she quit weed? You quit I weed. Quit weed. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm like da I'm dabbling now, but yeah, I'm not. I mean, I got high every single night for two years, <laughs> like every night. Did not miss a beat. In a night where I would forget, I would just like take a twenty milligram edible right before I went to bed, just like keep it up. I was. It was a little bit, a lot. And what was the turning point? There kind of was no turning point. It just, it's truly happened the way Dave had low-key always kind of said. He's like, you just get sick of it. It's like, because I would always be like, don't you want to get high with me? To be like, I don't feel like, he's like, I did this. I, So I just was like, oh, I'm like too 
it's too much. Yeah. So now it's like a little random treat is better. It's good. I wish I could do a random treat. Oh, God. I can't. <laughs> the minute I do it once, I, I have to like a, have a switch. It's like you don't do this or you do do this. What do you have now as random treats? Um, is Nothing. I've been drinking. No. Mushrooms are like for a while ruined. Wait, why? Really? Because I had to take them during my cluster headaches and it was like... Like I'm like about to cry. It was so bad. I so would, now you associate. I was like with... tripping so hard, and in, they're just so pain. It's like so much pain. That sounds and so. And then so scary. I'm like I'm like in pain, and then also tripping. It was like hell. It was just so bad. So now you're associating just yeah, I'm like, tripping ooh. with the pain and like feeling yeah. like you have to trip. It's like you don't want to be like yeah, you know. And I was like trying different dosages because nothing was like really working, and it's just like it's just. It's like feeling forced to do hallucinogens. Like I was like, I feel Ooh. like, I know I was like, I feel like this is like a government study. Like if this doesn't help the like military, then <laughs> yeah. what is this for? Well, you're doing God's work. And it wasn't, it didn't, it just didn't. So now I'm like, even though I don't want to be like done with them forever because I think they're like an amazing tool in medicine, but I just can't do anything for a while. So I'm doing nothing. I'm not drinking coffee anymore. What? Yeah, I've been drinking tea because I couldn't, it was like triggering them. Yeah. Yeah. I was doing nothing. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I haven't drank coffee in, in years, but I am dabbling in back into decaf. I love Ooh, coffee. She's wild. I love coffee is my <laughs> coffee is my boyfriend. Yeah. As Taylor Swift would say. It is my boyfriend. I love it so I much. I thought it was like a cute thing you came up with. Oh, that too. It's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that is uh, I know what like alcoholics must feel like when someone says they don't drink because and they they are drinkers because like when you guys say you don't drink coffee i'm like it, wow, yeah it makes you feel weird like, yeah well okay so this You're is challenging my reality i've quit drinking coffee like a bunch of times and basically i'm trying to find the correlation between my cluster headaches and maybe like sleep problems so like maybe i'm like near sleep apnea situation i will n i know hello <laughs> um, but so I've been doing more like taping my mouth spray tan now, so we're not taping, but um, <laughs> priorities, <laughs> but I am trying to really be conscious of keeping my mouth closed while I sleep, keeping my nose open, um, just stuff like you that. You should have Todd hold your nose open while you sleep. Todd, if he falls asleep before me. Wait, like I want to talk about this. No, I am. Oh my God. I want to talk about this. I'm literally doing a whole bit about this. I'm I cannot. No. And this is just sh like, this is a non-negotiable for me. If you are a guy that cannot stay awake past my sleeping time, we are never going to make it. A hundred percent agree. This you, is you have to protect me. <laughs> no, I know. But it, that feeling, I think that's what it is. I like the, the the I like knowing that someone is watching over me, that someone is I don't care if there's noise involved. I don't care if you're watching TV. I just need to know that you're awake yes. while I'm asleep. That 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 puts me in a deep slumber. When he starts snoring, I'm like, I have to put my headphones on and start just listening to meditate. I'm like, oh my God, what is gonna get me through this? But that whole thing you were saying, like I do spin out. Yeah. I, I'm in the dark and my mind starts going nuts. I feel I a lot of it. anxiety. For me, it comes from too like growing up. My parents went to bed every single night at nine p.m., and so I was always that makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I was always like alone, awake at night, and it was just the worst oh, feeling. The worst. The best I've ever slept is in college when I lived on top it's of a bar. It's so funny for your parents to go to bed and just be like. <laughs> 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 Like, and then I go to other people's houses and their parents are like up till midnight. My dad. Drink. But I'll tell you something. My dad being up late, my dad gave me like, um, like couch hang syndrome. Like mm. I would rather like sleep on a couch in case something I like that. happens. Yes. Because I don't want FOMO. I'm trying to really get to the root of my FOMO because this New York week was hard really yes it was so sad wait did you did you um see my chinese medicine guy no oh yes i did okay I did. did it help at all i mean i like to say it's kevin bacon's but uh, <laughs> it is <laughs> sorry it is the bacon's yeah, yeah. yeah. um no, no no but i did see him and just nothing it's like so weird nothing worked once yeah. the cycle starts like maybe all this stuff can help before the cycle starts once the cycle starts it's like it's like so electric like Ugh. I kept going to my my Rolfing guy and he was like, I'm so sorry, I can't. He's like, we were just like learning. I was just figuring out more of like where my nerves connect and stuff like that. But it wasn't like for relief, but it was more comfortable to know kind of, you know. Do they, is there research on like what causes it to start? Mm -mm. 
it's like different for everyone. It's like different seasons. Like but it I was seems looking for you, like, it's like every two years is like it's every, But that happens for most people. So there's there's like episodic ones, and then there's people that have them chronically. Which, I mean, they're called suicide headaches, but I'm assuming it's the chronic ones that kill themselves. Yeah. Because, I mean, I know it's going to end eventually, but it is almost. It's almost like clockwork, six weeks, and then it's just gone. And then there's usually a day where I think it's gone. I'm like woo, and then I come back, and then I'm yeah. like crying in a grocery store. But um. Yeah, it's really weird. It's like all of a sudden, like my sinuses will like puff up. My eye gets all puffy and runny. It's just so weird. I can't even imagine that. Fucking that. Sucks. When I get a migraine, which lasts a day, maybe two if it's terrible, yeah. it's like, it's just, you feel so helpless. You feel, it's so unfair. You can't do shit. You can't look at your phone. You can't do shit. No. Well, I'm just like, I must have like sent some young Jewish children on a train or something when, in my past life. I mean, Why I, do you have to go I there? Let's just say SS Annie must have, uh, <laughs> I did something bad. It's like hard to not go there. I'm like, I'm being punished. It's like so weird. Maybe it's from the Anne Frank email. <laughs> Wait, does your brother have- It did start after that. <laughs> does your twin brother have them? No, my dad used to have them and my aunt used to have them, yeah. But oh. they, it went away for them after a while. Yeah, my dad said his were just migraines, but he did say cholesterol before, so I'm like- Wait, uh, you kind of though low key like that your dad had them too, so you're like him. Yeah, if it was like my mom, I'd be like fucking. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait it is. I like every time I like my dad. You know, I know me Wait, too. Like my dad and I have such similar health ailments, which is always I'm like, well, he is eighty, but I still I'm like, oh, that's aren't our dads so good for their age? By the way, they're yeah. My dad's so scared of going like senile, and it's so funny. I'm like, you're you already like. He'll be like the Bruce Willis thing. I'll be like, really, like, oh my God. I'm like, Bruce Willis is like 30 years younger than you. Like, <laughs> you beat him, dad. Like, <laughs> you didn't get the thing he has. Like, you couldn't yeah, possibly have them. that. I feel like you guys are a different couple when you're away from your home. Yes. Better? Us in New York was a complete, it was like a completely new relationship. It was, I felt like we were dating all over again. I was with New York Dave, who I've always wanted to meet because he lived in New York before we met. And so, I was like, oh my God, like he knows his way around. He's he was showing me around. He it it was completely different and like way better. Do well, you have that? Are you well, have you guys gone somewhere? You Todd guys, goes with me everywhere basically, but he has another job now, so we're not doing that anymore. But also you guys are it's still new. It feels completely the same because we bring Randy and stuff. It's like, it's just like just bringing our house like on the road. But I, I'm also working. It's not like that much. I know exactly what you mean though, because I. I don't know if I was just being I was just not ready for a relationship um, at, during a period of my life. So I kept I always got into relationships with boys that lived either in other countries or in other cities. Like I would always seek like long distance arrangements just so I would have. And usually with people that I couldn't see myself like going the distance with. Um, but what I noticed is when I was in their hometown, I was really attracted to them because they were in control. Like I, I could see them in their element. I could see, you know, the ease, and the, you know, with the way they moved. When yes. they would come stay it's with so me. Embarrassing. When they would stay I, with um, me, they weren't driving. Ooh. I would have, you know, and They're they didn't know their way around. And I was, I got like the ick several mm -hmm. times. And I think that's so unfair to them, obviously. But like, I couldn't help the way I- I used to do the same thing. It's a uh, expiration dating. Is that what, what it's called? Yeah. It's like, you know, it's not going to work out. It's like there's so many barriers in between it. And you can be like so in love with them. And they're like, yes, I was in. Yeah, I was in Germany. I met this guy. I was like so in love with him. I was like, oh, my God, we're going to like be together. And then when he came to America, I was like, ew, get away from me, <laughs> loser. Yeah, that exactly. I've done this suck. several times. I did it with a boy <laughs> with a boy from from London, um, one in Spain and one in Australia. What? And each time that they would come over here. I would like lose my attraction. And um, but I think that's exactly it's it's what's what Annie is saying. Like it was fun to like have this fantasy of being like, oh, I have this boy. Yeah. And we're gonna have these like mini romances, like really like intense vacations almost. Yeah, it's like a vacation boyfriend. Yeah. It's like yeah. having like a guy a free local tour guide. Yeah, and the yeah. sex is always great because yeah. you haven't seen each other. And in a you're while. not in your place. So it's like when then they come to your place, it's like you're like, all right, you're interrupting my schedule. Exactly. It's so hard when you first start dating someone to figure out like how your schedules fit together and stuff and what yes. you're willing to but it's like, ugh, I don't want to be your fucking tour guide. No, but legit, this is so like the novelty of showing up in New York after David had been there for a month like he had his whole apartment situation like that novelty was so hot like it was 
I almost feel like I want to remember that because if there's ever like a slow period, you know what I'm saying? Like where I'm like, mm, we just need to go somewhere and like I need to, you need to see the person in their element or something like that. 100%. And then, so when you're like, Dave, we have to move to New York, what does he say? It's okay. Interesting. So sometimes he would say things like, let's just go home and see. And then eventually he just stopped responding. And I was like, I actually called him out. I was like, I noticed that sometimes when I say things, you just kind of like let them go and don't react. I was like, well played. He was like, yeah. So he just kind of like, let's go. And, but he did say that he's like, we cannot move. He's like, we have a house in LA. Like we're not moving here. But, um, and now that I- Did you cry? No. And my dad also. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. My dad, my dad was like. She just answered very seriously. <laughs> my dad was like, I was like, Dad, I'm so obsessed with New York. I have to live here. And he's like, You're obsessed with whatever the last place you were at is. And I'm like, I need to take that into consideration because LA is great. You too. can spend so much time in both places too. It's not like. Yeah. You had a good setup though, having that place and everything. Yeah, like him having a job there was so yeah. ideal. Like, I don't know when that'll ever happen again. But I don't know. You lived in New York. Do you feel like any aspirations of going back? I, when I get there, love it. I have like such anxiety going back. It's like I blacked out the whole thing. I just, it's like so weird. Wait, what do you mean? Like every time I, it's like when I'm, I loved living in New York. It was so fun. It was so awesome. I never thought I wouldn't live in New York. Then when I moved to LA, I like missed New York and moved back one more time. And then when I moved back to LA, I was like, I love LA and I love living here. And then didn't go back to New York as much. And then the longer of time I stay away from it, the more I get a lot of anxiety when I think about going. And What is the anxiety about? Where am I going to stay? What am I going to do? I have to bring all my stuff. I don't have my car to like keep stuff in. But do you think it'd be a little bit different now, now that, you know, you're an established comic, you have the money to go back to New York? Wouldn't that be like a completely different experience yeah. there? Yeah, it is. And then when I get there, it's always like, oh, this fucking city is like alive. It's electric. I love it. I like would like walk down the street and hug the air. You know, I loved it there. OK, that's strange. I'm, I, I bet you did a couple of twirls on uh, Broadway. <laughs> Leaps. <laughs> sure. If there was a puddle. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a weird. Am I have like a city amnesia. Mm. I I've been remember. feeling that lately. Like I don't know where I am anymore. Speak on that. <laughs> we just go, thank you guys for listening. <laughs> you guys don't feel like you're just like, you're yeah, just getting through your days and you're just kind of not like present. That You're just doing what you're supposed to be doing and that you don't really kind of know where the fuck you are, who you are, what time it is. I Do you don't get that? The exact opposite. <laughs> really? No, I th actually feel that way and that's why going to New York was so like invigorating is because I feel like life here becomes a little bit like a blur at least for me and that just like I don't know but you also travel a lot so that should solve that because I, I travel far or maybe it's I the Asia. opposite of that it's like you, you're in like different worlds a lot maybe you need to establish like a routine this is gonna sound um not good for the long-term goals of this podcast but i really have been thinking non-stop about moving permanently back to <laughs> asia what yeah I, I cannot get it out of my head Zoom, i'm like bitch. <laughs> Wait, wake, up, bitch. wake up bitch why well, two in the guys. morning <laughs> we put like a body here. We're like, hey, we're no we'll go we'll go there and film and you'll come here we'll do it there's this work. crazy thing i think we talked about it with teffy it's like when i'm there like i just feel like safe it just feels good right and each time that i go there it's it's my new york you know it's that place where i'm like god i just i really want to live here i grew up here I think Feels it's more right. your her parents' basement. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Hawaii is her my parents' basement. We already have that. <laughs> um, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will be back with a brand new episode. See you then. Bye, guys. Bye.